to do anything more grim dark than a nice checker pattern. Hi, I'm Steve, and today we're going to be painting checks on stuff. So let's crack on. When you're painting checker patterns, you always want your base colour to be the lighter colour. In this case, I'm doing black and white checks, so I'll be painting black checks over a white base. Doing it the other way around would be much more difficult because lighter colours don't cover well over the darker colours. I'm also not starting with white, I'm going to kick things off with skeleton bone. Once I've got a good layer of that down, I'm then going to use a 50-50 mix of skeleton bone and white to sketch out some highlights. It's always better to get some highlights and shadows on the mini first before you paint the checks, as that saves you the job of having to go in and do it once you've got your pattern on. Speaking of shadows, I'm going to use a diluted colour called wood grain from Vallejo, and this is quite a dark rich brown. I'm just going to thin it out and I'm going to use this to add some depth and colour to the shadows on the hat. With that done, we're ready to sketch out our pattern. I'm using a brush with a nice fine tip and I'm using slightly thinned down black paint. You might need to experiment and test the thickness depending on the paint that you use. If it's too thick, you'll get cloggy bits and it will not give you clean thin lines. But if it's too dilute, um, the paint lines will be too faint and the paint might flow uncontrollably and cause a mess on the surface. The trick to getting a good pattern is to take your time sketching the outline. I like to start with the vertical lines and work all along the area I'm painting. Try to space the lines as evenly as possible. Paint with light, steady strokes to keep the thickness of the lines consistent. Don't be afraid to manoeuvre the model to get a better angle. And try to match the flowing folds of the clothing or whatever it is that you're painting on the mini. Once you have the vertical lines done, move on to the horizontal. It's exactly the same process, and again, taking your time and being consistent will give you the best end result. Once you've done that stage, you should have a nice pattern to work from like this. And if there's any little errors or inconsistencies, we can correct those along the way as well, so don't worry about that. Now we just start filling in alternating squares. It doesn't really matter where you start, but once you've started, work out from that point only to make sure you don't colour in the wrong squares. It's easiest to complete one vertical or horizontal line at a time and then move on to the next. And remember to alternate the squares that you colour for each roll. Again, take your time and go gradually. The easiest mistakes to fix are the ones you avoid making in the first place. Now we have our pattern completed, so it's time to correct any little errors and smooth out the lines. Uh, go back in with the 50-50 mix of skeleton bone and white to do this for the white squares. Um, you can add a, a small amount of this in no more than the upper third of each of the checks um, and this adds a, a further little highlight to it. And then you can also go in and do the same to correct the black squares using our black paint from before. And if you want to add a highlight there you can do the same as well with a, a very dark grey. Um, you can just add adding a, a touch of white to your black to do that but that's uh, an entirely optional step. Next we're going to add a bit of additional texture by taking our 50-50 white mix or even just some full white and um, painting on some fine dots and scratches onto the surface. Uh, like when we did the black lines, uh, we want a fine tip brush and we're making careful thin lines. Uh, I like to make sure that the scratches are on the diagonal so they stand out from the vertical lines of the pattern. And you don't need to overdo this, just uh, a couple of scratches here and there and it really helps sell the model. And here is our finished checker pattern. You can add some additional glazes, things like browns to make it look more dirty and weathered which is what I've done here. Um, well that's pretty much it. I hope you've enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you did, or if there's anything else that you'd like to see me do a video on, then please let me know. Thanks very much. Bye for now.